the main the main challenge of the Duchess, for example, is that uh, the houses that those people occupied, by contemporary standards, are very small. You know, the the spaces they they would have one big space in each house, and all the rest of the rooms would be very small. So, as an audience watching uh, watching it, if it was faithfully done in lots of little rooms. Uh, the, du the Duke wouldn't have felt like the richest man in the world. So we um, amalgamated a lot of much, much bigger spaces. In the, in the end, we used seven houses together and used the big reception room in each one for a different function. Um, and that, I suppose, was a, you know, we were trying to remain accurate to the period to a certain extent, but in another way, we threw that away just to create that idea of enormous wealth. I think this, this clip addresses a, a tension between the sort of uh, accuracy of what actually happened and our expectation of what we would see. Um, and the, the Duke was then the richest man in England. Um, and in reality, he would, have lived, he would have lived in, you know, a very substantial house, but with one big room in it. And in film terms, it, it wouldn't have looked very big. So uh, we, used, we used a lot of different spaces to create this notion of his wealth. And this sequence takes us from the church, through the streets, and into his into his bedroom. Take you know, going through Somerset House, Hokham Hall, Kettleston Hall, and then um, another house which I can't remember the name of at the moment. No.